In this video we're going to look at how you can work out the area of triangles. I've got three triangles drawn on centimetre squared paper here and I'm going to look at, starting with the easiest version, um, how you can calculate the number of centimetres squared which are inside the shape. Remember the area of a shape is the space on the inside of it. So if we take this first triangle here, you can see that it's got one whole square, two whole squares. This one's not quite a whole square, perhaps that little bit would fit in there. And you can start to make sort of little judgments about how you could fit these squares together to find a total. However, um, that is quite tricky on this one. You've got lots of little bits here. You've got to try to figure out what goes with what. It's not really a very good method. So a better method is to try to think of a triangle always as half of a rectangle. And if I draw in some dotted lines here, like that, OK, ignore that bit, um, you can see what I mean. I've drawn a rectangle now, and it's easy to find the area of that rectangle. We have another video um, showing you how to do that, but very quickly, it's 2 multiplied by 5 makes 10. So the rectangle, the whole rectangle, has an area of 10 square centimetres. And the triangle that I drew originally is therefore half of that total. Half of 10 is 5. Now the way mathematicians tend to state the formula for the area of a triangle is to say you do half of the base times the height. Okay, so a mathematician would write down half base times height, like that. The so base times height gives you the area of the rectangle, which is 10, and then if you half it, you get the area of the triangle, which is 5 centimetres squared. Let's have a look at this one here, the second one. We want to do half the base multiplied by the height. Okay, now when you're using this formula, um, it's important that you know the length of the base of the triangle, and it's also important that you know the height of the triangle. And the height should be measured straight up from the base. So this distance here, which in this case is 3 centimetres. If you tried to measure that distance or that distance, those would not be correct heights of the triangle. The height must be measured straight up from the base. So let's have a look at what we've got here. The base is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 centimetres long. And the height is 3 centimetres. So what I'm going to need to do half of base times height, which is that 6 times 3. 6 times 3 is 18, and a half of it is 9. There are a, quite a few ways you can think about using this formula. You can do, like I did, base times height, and then half it. Or you can do half of the base, and times it by the height. Or you can even do half of the height, and times it by the base. It doesn't matter which of those you do. Number three here is perhaps a little bit less obvious, um, but if you turn the piece of paper around like that, you can see we do have a base which is nice and easy to read. 
it's four centimeters and again the height must be measured straight up well here's the here's the top point of the co the triangle and if I move straight down from there so that I'm level with the base here that is one two three four centimeters as well so this triangle is going to have an area of half base times height and that's half of this number here, half of four centimeters times four centimeters four times four is sixteen, half it is eight centimeters squared okay here I have another two triangles just so that I can demonstrate to you a couple of things first of all for this one the area half base times height if you apply this formula in a certain way it becomes quite difficult this calculation to do and if you apply it in a different way it becomes a bit easier so lots of people would do base times height and then half their answer when they're using this formula if you try that 8 times 16 you've got to do a lot more work um, doing 8 times 16 and then halving it than if you half the base or the height beforehand so this is really about choosing when you're going to do this halving you can do the base times height and then half it but because these are larger numbers that might be a bit horrible or you can half one of them beforehand and make your job a bit easier I'm going to do that, I'm going to do half of the height times the base and half of the height here, half of 16 is 8 and because those numbers are sort of within the limit of what I know my times tables to it's a lot easier to do it that way on this question here if I tried to use half of the base times the height first of all it's not clear which of these is the height and secondly actually neither of them are going straight up from the base so with this triangle you wouldn't be able to use this formula half base times height because you don't know enough information remember the height that you use must be straight up what we call perpendicular which means at right angles to the base and since in this question we're not given the height of the triangle we can't use this formula